Good day everyone, so today we're going to talk about another play touring game which is League of Ancients. So this is probably the first and probably the biggest MOBA based play to earn game in the crypto world. So this is going to be the Binance Smart Chain and uh, it looks very promising actually. And there's been a lot of followings, I think the hype is so big for this one. I, th I really hope they're going to be able to pull through because they, the expectations coming from a lot of the community members is so high i think and uh i really hope they'll be able to deliver they actually have a trailer but i'm not gonna go through the entire trailer we can just look at a sample battle that they had here it's very very basic battle but pretty much from what i'm seeing this is like ash right only a different skin version and yeah i mean it looks pretty nice like uh, i'd say that would be give or take what i was expecting so hopefully Whatever they showed there is either that will be it or something a little bit better or more polished once they're able to release the game. So for features, they're going to have NFT skin ownership, marketplace, NFT staking, and mobile games. So definitely I'm most interested actually it's more on NFT staking because this is more of a passive way of earning in the game. And uh, you can also see the map here. So this is what it's going to look like. They have the Luminous and Dark Souls, which is pretty standard for, for most of the mobile games that we're playing right now. And they already have um, three heroes here. They already have the fourth one in Discord. So, oh, I think the fourth one was actually at the top here. So this is the fourth hero that they have released and the other ones. So yeah, so I mean, you can bleed into them. This one looks pretty much like Ari. So they are gonna have their in-game token, which is the Loa token, which is going to be used for in-game staking, in-game payments, governance, participation. So pretty much the standard stuff. Uh, roadmap, so we can actually look into here already. So they've done through milestone one and two, Q3, Q2, already done. So milestone, milestone three, so this is what we're gonna be looking forward to. This is the main reason why I made a video right now because the private, I mean, the pre-sale is going to happen in a day, so it's going to be November 11. Now we can actually open it in Discord. They actually mentioned it here in the announcement. So you just need to make sure like you join in the Discord channels, any social um, community channels that one of the games that you're interested in, I would highly recommend you just visit and uh, join because most of the announcements are going to be there and that would be the best way to get into the latest information about the game. So it's going to be November 11, 7 p.m. at GMT time. So that will be a day from now. So just make sure to get into that. Um, that's only like registration. So don't worry about like, is it already going to be sale or what? This is just registration. I don't know when exactly when the actual sale will happen. So just take note of that. And they also have the limited edition NFT giveaway. giveaway. So 11 people will win. You can actually join in. Just click the link here. It's still open for a few more hours, I think, if I remember correctly. So just try and get in there if it's if still available. Then what I'm really looking forward to would be the NFT sale, which we're going to cover a bit later on how much this is going to be costing us, which is some of which are very expensive. So they're also going to have smart contract audit, which is good. They should have that. Dex offering is going to happen, CoinGecko, CoinMarket. Wow, they're also going to do the the centralized exchange to the thing in Q4. That's going to be insane. I really, all right, the more I think about it, the more I think I need to get in. You know, a centralized exchange listing actually pumps the price for a token. Sometimes times five, sometimes times ten. If you heard about the Larnia, right? That token like exploded. Like if you bought the token at 0 0.02, which is I think the pre-sale price, it, it, the price went up to like over two dollars and four dollars. It's like like ginormous amount of money of earnings, right? Milestone 4, so Q1 2022 NFT Marketplace beta test and Marketplace launch. So this is going to be a very long milestone because they're not going to release the game up until the end of 2022, which is a long time. So this is going to be a pretty long investment. So Milestone 5, they're going to have LOA yield farming. So that's good. At least they're going to be able to implement it in Q2. So NFT staking and fusion, that's what we're looking for. So at least as early as this period, we'll be able to do that. Then Q3 beta game launch, so yeah, if you're into the game, then definitely you want to get into that. Private launch for eSports players, Android Play and iOS is iOS Play, that's good. Then uh, this is the biggest milestone, which is the actual launch of the game. 
so yeah so this is a pretty decent milestone uh, roadmap so this is for me it's pretty good pretty detailed enough tokenomics at least the supply you know it's over 1 billion um, and the initial price offering would be around 0 0.05 and uh, yeah, so if you should get into this and it got into the CEX listing, imagine the price. You know, even if it just goes a dollar or two dollars, that's like wow, that's gonna be instant earning. So we'll see, we'll, we'll try to get into that. So the important part we're gonna talk about would be the white paper, right? So we've gone through what the game is, right? It's pretty much an inspiration of um, all of the mobile games that we have currently. But what we're gonna look into is initially the team. So I'm, I'm pretty confident already that this team is team is fully doxxed, mainly not because they have the pictures, but they have the LinkedIn, which is pretty important. And I've looked into some of them, and they look pretty legit as legit as they can get. All right. So if you're not, you know, if you're still curious, just get into the LinkedIn and check into the information and uh, see for yourself. So for me, I'm already okay with this. So what we're gonna look into would be the gameplay. So game modes, they're gonna have two different game modes. They have the normal game mode and the NFT match game mode. And the third one is actual tournament. So that'll be a whole different thing. So pretty much normal match is the quick match that you normally would play. And NFT match would be the rank play of the game. So they're gonna have ratings, MMRs, but there's no actual breakdown on how the MMR will be set up but uh, we do have the rankings here that they mentioned but we don't know how much you know in terms of um numbers uh, how much is part of sentinel how much part of this is royal knight in zealot Z Z and duke and arc group and so on all right so that's something that they need to explain maybe further in the future the next is in-game currency so pretty much um this is how you're going to earn in the game when you're playing the game right so in a normal in nft match so you will earn a certain amount of lower token now it will depend on the skin that you're wearing. So right now they also mentioned, I think I missed to mention it here, like you're only, you're going to earn more in NFT matches compared to normal matches. So I think that's pretty much it. Uh, but they didn't say how much, so I'm not exactly sure what's the difference, how much difference they're talking about. But definitely if you're gonna play, if you wanna earn more then definitely you play the NFT match. Now this is important because the skin will dictate how much you can earn, right? So if your skin is like epic and basic, you're just gonna earn like the base amount. Now, if you get an elemental that goes to 1.1, champion 1.2, legendary 1.3, mythic 1.4. So it's incremental when you see it, but when you get to Genesis, it spikes up to 1.8, then immortal would be 2X. So, which is pretty awesome, but I'd say this is probably the most expensive and the second most expensive item which we'll see how much you're gonna be costing on NFT sale. This is not in the marketplace sale where people are actually selling the the skins, right? Definitely if people are gonna be selling the skins secondhand, that's gonna be like double or triple the price of what the NFT sale was originally priced on. You just need to take note of that. So next would be hero. So pretty standard, you have the tank, you have the mage, marksman, support, assassin. So nothing specific to get into that. Then they will have equipment. So these are in-game equipments which you normally see in, in MOBA games. And they will have like physical damage bonuses, magic damage bonuses, defense movement, jungle and support type equipment. So I think these are pretty standard items. So next, they will have runes. So runes are mythical items that spawns on the side of rivers. They spawn at specific intervals throughout the match, which the hero picks up the rune. They will pick, pick up the rune that they'll be given their passive or attribute boost or skill. So they have three, like uh, Berserk, HP, and Mana Rune. I don't think this is going to be the final one. I think they they probably would have to update this. I mean, it's pretty sad just to have only three different runes in the game. But, and, and they didn't mention like these are, are these uh, permanent or not. From the looks of it, they're gonna be permanent if you've managed to get these. So, so definitely this is something like uh, you need to look out for when you're playing the game. And lastly, they have Inner Spirit. So this is like an added skill when you can you can set up when you're playing before you start to play the game like when you're selecting your unit and um, selecting your hero I mean then you're selecting like additional skills that you need to add to them so this is uh, the list of skills that they're adding into the um, game at the moment so next uh, we get into the pre-sales so again in the pre-sale is coming in a day so this is going to be the pre-sale tokens that's going to be sold out and they're going to be using the over subscription method so this means like this is the overflow method all right 
so I don't know if they're gonna have tiers for example like tier one like how many are gonna be uh, purchasing but if not if this is gonna be just a single tier an assumption like this is just one tier so there's going to be 0 0.05 cents per token and there's only two million so the easiest way to think about this is for example people can just pour out their money put out their money like let's say for example me I have a hundred dollars let's say a thousand of other people will put in maybe a thousand dollars two thousand dollars three thousand dollars or whatever right so at the total let's say the total pool like everybody contributed like let's say you you pulled in like over 10 million dollars worth of tokens so the only way for you to know like how many tokens we're going to be able to get so the over subscription model will allow everyone to have tokens so that means whoever every single person who actually contributed to that pool will be able to get a token but the thing is it will depend on how much percentage did you contribute into that pool so if the pool is like 10 million and you only put in let's say 100 bucks then you know you can imagine how much token you're gonna get right um i don't have a calculator in I'm not very good at math but uh let's try let's do our best to uh, at least make it make people understand so you have 100 bucks so your contribution to the 10 million pool is uh yep yeah, point zero 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 one so imagine like there's only two million tokens so this is your contribution and this is what you're gonna get you're only gonna get 20 tokens for that entire contribution so that's the basic idea of our subscription method and um, my assumption is they're gonna give the money back to you if they have it um, for, the, for the amount that, that were not really used at all so let's say you purchase you got so you got 20 tokens then whatever is left of your money then they'll send it back to you that's my understanding I could be wrong but uh, that's what is happening in one of the IDOs that I'm part participating in they call that overflow method so I would assume this is pretty much the same so yeah so that's how you're gonna get your money there I mean your tokens I mean so next they're also gonna have NFT sales so they're gonna segregate it into one two three and four I don't know if in terms of schedule they're gonna do the same or not so if you purchase let's say a beta capsule it's gonna cost you 30 bucks and uh, you're gonna get a corresponding uh, LOA token that's going to be included in that purchase so for example they, they made an example in discord they mentioned like the the proposed quantity for beta capsule is around 10,000 uh, so 10,000 capsules so 10,000 capsules so we're, we're sorry, I hate math but we've got to do this right so there's 5 million so we're gonna divide it to 10,000 capsules so for each capsule you purchase you will also receive a corresponding 500 lower tokens so that's what it means but for the other ones we don't know how many they're gonna be uh, sharing or I mean how many they're gonna be selling so we don't we can't really compute how much lower tokens you're gonna get so as I mentioned earlier the most uh, valuable skins that you're gonna be getting in the game is Genesis and Immortal so this is the only time you can actually purchase an Immortal skin but it's so freaking expensive like 10,000 bucks just for that I don't know if it's worth it but it's gonna double your money in terms of earning and it's gonna contribute a lot for the mining power once you get into the staking game that's the value that i'm looking at but definitely <laughs> i can't because i don't have that kind of money i wish i did so i can just buy the immortal skin but i might have to consider like maybe genesis capsule but again i don't have one thousand dollars so <laughs> i might end up with a alpha capsule oh my gosh uh we'll see so later we'll get in through we'll get through the percentage of what you're gonna get if you purchase these types of capsule all right so next is the liquidity pool so um, they didn't really specifically mention like what are the liquid liquidity pool tokens that are going to be used definitely Loa is going to be one of those and we don't know what the corresponding token that they're going to match it with but uh, they just mentioned like uh, if the total value locked is going to this value then we're going to get a daily airdrop of 50k and of course that's distributed to the percentage contribution of each of the players that contributed to the liquidity pool so it goes incremental as as high the higher we go up until 200 million and up which is a maximum of 125,000 lower tokens next we'll look into the capsule so as i mentioned earlier if you're gonna buy alpha capsule so this is what you're gonna get uh, so there's a 15 percent chance for mythical 30 for legendary 55 for champion so we've already seen the levels right in terms of rarity so champion is the lowest tier then 
legendary, the mythical. Then if you get a beta capsule, you're gonna get the basic and epic, which pretty much will just get you like a 1x in terms of uh, earning your token. So which is the lowest ones, then elemental. And so for me, in my perspective, I don't think I want to buy the beta capsule because they're not that fallible at the end of the day. I would rather go for alpha, but alpha is like 300 bucks. Crazy prices, crazy prices. And lastly, the lower capsule that will be available to raffle events. And I don't know if it's going to be available like in just in the market. You can just purchase it. I don't know. But uh, the rates or percentage rates that you're going to be getting for, for the lower capsule. So there is no chance for you to get immortal and event seasonal skins. But at least you have a chance to get Genesis, which is a 0.06%. Uh, which is very, very low. But hey, who knows? I mean, if you're really lucky, you might get one. You can't tell, right? So you have Mythical, Legendary, so pretty much most of the ratings are all available, but definitely you have to consider because the basic and epic, like they pretty much comprise the 70, 76% of the entire rarity of the pool. So I don't know if it's a good buy because of that type of percentage, but if you're, you're if you're, if you're a gambling type of person, maybe you could consider that. So next is the most important part. This is this is the most important part, the mining. So basically you can stake your NFTs and the rarer your NFTs will have the better mining power. So you can see it in picture here. There's the mining power. This is the total mining power in the game and this is your mining power. So if you're used to playing mining games, so like Zendodo for example is a good example. Um, Mobox is also a good example in the Zoo Crypto world. So they all have this similar concept. So this is the total mining power of the entire uh, community that is actually doing staking. So then you'll see your contribution and uh, you also know like there's a total daily distribution which you can see up here. So from the 100,000 token, depending on the contribution that you're having, you will get a corresponding amount of uh, LOA tokens for that day. All right, so that, that's, the, that's the distribution from my understanding at the moment. So now we'll get into more specific information here. Account level. So account level has actually an impact on mining multiplier. All right. So how do you get to level your account? Your account is dependent on the number of NFTs that you have. Not only number of NFTs, but the rarity of your NFTs. So as I've said, that's why Immortal is so valuable because one Immortal will already grant you 600 NM experience which is so much compared to like basic right if you get basic like two experience what are you gonna do with that right that's why i'm saying like it's not even worth it to get epic and basic at all like the base one would be elemental it's not even that great so definitely what you know everyone would be eyeing on uh, immortal and genesis and that's why the desire for these skins would be very very high and the prices would probably be astronomical uh, once uh, you know whoever manages to purchase them yeah so yeah so anyway so when you level up uh, you will get a 0.05x increase in your mining power so that means that if you go to level 5 then you'll get 1.25 but they also mentioned here if you get to level 10 at least every 10 levels you'll get rewarded a bonus mining power of 0.5 which is pretty big so that means that if you're if you're a level 12 they mentioned here you get a 1.6 coming from the you know additional level of 0 0.05 plus you get a bonus of 0.5 so you get a total of 2.1x mining power which is great so next i also mentioned that they also have skin set bonus which is again the same similar to the mining games right but here uh, in order for you to get a full set bonus you need to get the full set meaning like uh, whatever skin that skin is available for each of the positions in the game like a tank mage marksman support and assassin if you manage to get one of each for that same skin then you'll have a full set so that full set will grant you an additional boost so but i think it's gonna be depending on the rarity i guess of that set so the example they had here is a legendary set so they said that the bonus effect would be 2.5 which is huge so that's pretty big so i don't know if that's gonna be cast in stone no? we don't know because there's no table right but at least we have an idea on how it's gonna work so next is skin fusion so this is one way to actually burn skin so let's say if you have a ton of common in uh, in epic skins you can just start burning them so you can have a chance to get a better better rarity for for that skin 
but they didn't have a mention on how the tearing would work when you're trying to burn skin so I don't know so what we know is uh, in order to get an immortal skin this is what you need so you need a one Genesis skin you need one event seasonal skin you need, you need two mythical skin and one legendary skin which is a lot and I think this one would be probably one of the harder ones to get because like these are seasonal ones right not something you can just buy anytime then uh, for mythical you need two legend legendary and one champion so for everything else hopefully they make a table for it too so we'll know how to actually uh, increase the rarity of uh, skins for the lower levels up until you get into the mythical level skin skin rarity so as i've mentioned already earlier uh, we have these levels of rarities how to obtain them i'm not exactly sure what the value of rarity level is for this one so but at least it's just telling you like uh, the tiering of, of these uh, skins all right so i think that's about it for for the mining part so definitely i'm excited for this one and uh, hopefully we can get into this pretty soon in this pre-sale part so a low economy so this is important because this will dictate the the control for the token so this is the key part here the buyback token and the burning of tokens as i've said we're producing a lot of tokens every day lower tokens it's like pretty much unlimited lower tokens right so they can't they can't just keep producing because it's going to over inflate the price of the token it'll crash once uh, there's you know nothing is being done on their end same thing that's happening to the crypto world the token price really is like 50 cents and sometimes drops to 40 cents even and they never were able to recover there because i think in terms of burning they, they're really having a hard time trying to manage the tokenomics for that game but hopefully they can figure that out because there's a lot of potential in that game i mean if you compare them to to mobox they're really far apart at the moment there's a lot of improvements that zoo crypto world can do to catch up but anyways it's not that's not what we're talking about here right so the important part here is that for them to get uh, token buyback pools they need the nft marketplace of course any transactions there 80 percent of it will go to the buyback pool and 20 percent of it will go to the dev wallet so they can use that to further develop the game then uh, they also have the vault so i'm not exactly sure how the vault will work and they also have liquidity pool and events for esports tournaments and um, i guess capsule raffle subscription fees i don't know what that is so maybe it's one way for you to get capsules like the loa capsule i guess so anything that they earn from here will go straight to the burn pool so i think this way at least they have a way to control the tokens but honestly i don't think this is enough uh, probably they need to find better ways to control the token distribution for for the game so with that guys that ends my video today i'm really excited for this game but i'm more excited about the nft mining part of the game so um definitely something i'm gonna be lo looking forward to and um again there's still time for you to get into the pre-sale registration which is uh, around one day from now which is 7 p.m gmt just make sure to check in the world time buddy um just google it and you'll be able to see like when exactly it is so 7 p.m gmt november 11. so with that guys thank you for watching the video and hope to see you again in my future videos stay safe people